Guess what? AI has transformed software development. It builds this food delivery app. If ChatGPT and GitHub pilots can write your code for you, then you can focus on your real job. High level design and breaking down your big ideas into smaller steps and solutions. If you are interested in creating your own mobile app, for example, life will be a lot easier with AI. The key to unleashing the full power of ChatGPT in app development is being as specific as possible with your query. If you simply prompt ChatGPT, build me a customized dating app, it will give you something very generic because it cannot really interpret what exact functionality you want. My goal here is to walk you through how I build an app with ChatGPT, but before we get into the how, let's take a look at the app. This is the landing page. You click on the button and it takes you to the page where it shows you all the restaurants around you. Then you can search for different types of restaurants. Let's search for coffee, for instance. Also search for ice cream, for instance. Then if you click on any of the restaurants, it will take, take you to the page where you can make place an order or make a reservation. Let's get into the real job. Dale 2 is a free image model built by OpenAI and it will help us generate UI designs for the app. Let's enter a prompt first, then click on generate. So now we can draw inspiration, design inspirations from these examples here. Next, we want name ideas for the app, an excellent task for the ChatGPT text model, which we will be using to build the app. Let's go with PlatePal because you know PlatePal. Every useful app needs to work with data. So we would ask ChatGPT to give us free APIs, which we can use to get restaurant data. Um, I decided to go with Yelp because Yelp is free and popular. Finally, where do we even begin building this app? So ChatGPT is gonna give us step-by-step -step instructions that could you know, help us start building the app. First things first, we need to download Android Studio and open it up. We name our app PlayPal and we create it. Next, we want to create a landing page. The first page you're going to see when you open up the app on the Android phone. It generates the front end for you and you have to copy it go to Android studio and paste the code right there so we have to link the images for the UI but this is what the default page currently looks like yeah so we we'll link all the images under the drawable folder after we have linked the last image this is what the um, ui looks like now let's add a cute button to the ui we go to chat gpt and copy the code to add a colorful button customize the color to your taste then paste it in the um, landing page ui code we want to navigate to a new page when we click on this button so we need to create the new page or the new activity it's called an activity in android we need to create a new activity we can name it um order activity and we create the new page so the goal is to click on the button and the button will send us to that page so yeah uh, this is the code to navigate to the new page from the old page so we copy the code and we paste it in the main activity.java file so this is the empty page we created we want to click on the button in the main page then use it to navigate to the new page which is the order activity so let's let's do a demo to see how it works so this is the the, the landing page we 
click on the order now button then it takes us to an empty page simply so now this confirms that it works what we want to do on this page is we want to populate all the restaurants here now let's go to the Yelp Fusion API website where we're gonna get the API key we would use to get all our restaurant data so you sign up your app enter your information and create the app and they will give you an API key so just store this somewhere because we're gonna be using it in the in the app now let chat GPT make the API call for us copy the dependencies the interface the main code make sure you put your API keys here copy the helper classes and paste them in your order activity chat GPT would display the restaurants here so let's go copy the UI code then we paste this in the other activity user interface. We also need to copy like the back end code too. And paste this in our order activity so it's gonna display the data. You paste everything you copied in the order activity and also copy the restaurant adapter class. You create a new class and add the restaurant adapter there. So if you notice everything is red because ChatGPT made it created restaurant instead of businesses. So all you have to do is rename the restaurant to business because that is the um, the class we have in our file in our file. So after that is done, let us create the search box so you can search for restaurant. So this is what the UI looks like right now. You paste the search box and you modify whatever you text you want or the hints you want to be in there i'm gonna go with food search i think because it's simple and cute so this is what the ui looks like right now so essentially our app is almost done now we can search for restaurants uh any type of restaurants you want um let's search for wings yeah because i want wings get wings you can search for coffee you see you have coffee here now so yeah it works as expected pastry oh my god this looks so good you get you can have your pastry now so indian food yes get indian food too the final functionality we want for this app is the ability to navigate to the restaurant's website to make a reservation or place an order when the restaurant is clicked on on the app so all we have to do is copy this part of the code and click listener and paste it in the restaurant adapter so it's finally done let's test it Thank you for watching. I really hope you learned at least one thing from this video. If you are interested in more AI related videos, subscribe. I have a lot in store. See you at my next video.